<laughs> Hello, friends. I'm Lovable Lucky, and Merry Christmas. I just love this time of the year, don't you? <laughs> and today, I have a very special book for us to read. It's called, Twas the Night Before Christmas. And it's actually a poem. It was written by Clement Clark Moore almost 200 years ago. Wow. But it's still a great poem, and I really enjoy it. Oh, do you know what a poem is? Oh, I see some of you nodding your heads yes. So, if you don't know what a poem is, a poem is basically a piece of writing that has words that sound really good together. Like cat and hat. Let's see. Um, oh, dog and frog. And, uh, oh, walk and talk. Those all rhyme. So let's see if we can spot some rhyming words while we read this poem together. Are you ready? <laughs> Me too. Let's get started. Twas the night before Christmas when all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. I just need to interrupt right here for a moment and say those socks look really dirty. I hope they're clean because Santa doesn't want to smell stinky socks. Okay, back to the story. The children were nestled all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief, and I in my cap, had just settled our brains for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from the bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow who gave the luster of midday to objects below. Oh, and what to my wondering eye should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. Can you count to eight? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good job. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles, his coursers they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Dunder and Blitzen, now to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. Oh my gosh, I think I hear some sleigh bells on the roof. Can you hear that? As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they met with an obstacle, mount to the sky. 
So up to the housetop the coursers they flew with the sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. Oh! And then in a twinkling I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof as I drew in my head and was turning around. Down the chimney, St. Nicholas came with a bound. <sighs> he was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. <laughs> his eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry, his cheeks were like roses and his nose like a cherry. His drool little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard of his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. <laughs> he was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf. And I laughed when I saw him, in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. And there he is, putting the toys in the stockings. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk. And laying his finger aside of his nose, and giving a nod, up the chimney he rose. <gasps> he sprang to his sled, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the dawn of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim, ere he drove out of sight. Happy Christmas to all and to all a good night.